Mike, back at home this weekend with, with Chester set to visit. I suppose first off, just off the back of last weekend, what's the, the response sort of been like from the boys this week? Yeah, it's been a, it's been a good week of training. Like we, we went over, um, analysed, debriefed. Um, and yeah, it was a tough result to take, obviously, but um, speaking to the lads today, um, I've literally sat uh, yesterday and watched uh, Curzon performance, our Boston um, uh, our performance against Kitty um, and Brackley again, and take out moments, the performances aren't too dissimilar. Um, and the fact is that um, we went away from home against a, a very uh, established team and we had 65% possession and we had chances hitting the post, cleared off the line, um, blocked a, a couple of shots and uh, we're reflecting on that. So yeah, the result wasn't great but the performance wasn't bad at all. And um, we've got to take confidence and we've got a very tough test coming up on Saturday and um, we're looking forward to it. And you mentioned obviously the test at the weekend in, in terms of if you look at league position, obviously you'd see sort of Chester more in the bottom half, but they're one of the, the highest scoring teams in the league apart from yourself. So it's certainly something that's going to test you defensively on, on Saturday, isn't it? Yeah, of course. Yeah, no. Um, obviously, Steve's going to know us very well. Um, and yeah, their front three are a handful. They've got a lot of pace. They, they've got a um, the big man up front who's a target man, a focal point. But they've got good, good, uh, good midfield as well. Obviously, Weeks and Glendon, they're, they're technicians and um, they make them tick. So yeah, they're going to be hard working. Um, they're going to be uh, organised and they're going to know what we're about as well. So I'm sure they'll come here with a plan. And you mentioned Steve Watson there, of course, haven't played under him yourself. Does that make it any more of an, an interesting sort of encounter for you, sort of squaring off in, in managerial terms? No, not really. Um, like I say, he's somebody who, who brought me in. Um, I learned a lot from um, and yeah, we'll welcome him back. He, he, he did brilliant here and um, obviously um, as soon as uh, the whistle goes, we're, we're, we've both got a job to do and that's going to be the, the sole focus point. Is there any sort of new news to report on the, the injury front this week? No, no. Um, Wardy's close. Um, we'll see how uh, he reacted from today's session. Um, Forbes, he's picked up a little setback, which is frustrating for him. Um, it's a difficult period for him, um, but like I say, he's got to be strong and um, he'll come back from this. Um, obviously, Blackie's still on the, the road to recovery. Um, but other than that, yeah, everyone's fighting fit and up and ready for selection. And uh, I suppose just in terms of your own kind of fitness personally, is it just a case of team selection that you kind of opt not to pick yourself or is it a case of that you, you kind of can't be involved in them and injury-wise? Um, the fact is, uh, you know, I've been struggling uh, for fitness recently, but um, the team have also been doing very well and I feel like um, I've enjoyed my time on the side. but. I will be facing a, a late fitness test and we'll have to see.